Good evening, fellow degenerates. Mickey D here with you this evening. Just gone six o'clock. Um, with uh, two horses for tomorrow with lots of similarities. Um, today was another one of those days. The best horse in the race, but just didn't win it. I had picked uh, River Tyne um, in the uh, first race at Leicester. Uh, I knew the step up and trip at suit. Uh, the hands and heels wasn't a problem. But the problem was he just lost position coming around the home turn and uh, ran on all right. Um, official margins was a head and a head. Two more strides and we were a neck and a head up. But uh, as I say in racing, sure that's racing, but how come it's always the same, isn't it? It's racing. But... Uh, very unlucky lately with a lot, a lot of seconds and thirds um uh, that probably have the best horse in the race and uh that um just haven't won so hopefully that will change soon just an update on a horse i uh, tipped last week on the service uh, sam rogue um i heard uh, that um in its previous run before christmas it got uh the horse in the adjoining stall got very unruly and uh, reared up and actually hit it across the neck with its hoof. So uh, it was a bit scared in the stalls uh, recently and the jockey asked the stall handlers to go in last into the stalls. And what did the stall handlers do? Put her in first. So she was a bit nervous in the stalls. She was in there for three or four minutes and she came out four lengths down uh, from her usual where she would have been. So that was all the difference in, uh, in winning and losing there. So these little things, especially in a sprint race, and especially with a four-year-old filly, like, you know, that uh, I see she's entered again on Friday, but uh, I don't know if they're going to run her or not. Um, but anyway, um, we'll see. Uh, two horses tomorrow. Uh, if you, Some of you might notice that I do targets and I do study a lot of the mayor's handicap hurdles and the mayor's novice hurdles. So there's two mayor's handicap hurdles races tomorrow. Two of them have won pint to pints and two of them are returning tomorrow with uh, wind surgery for the first time. In the 150 at Wincanton, Chiraco's dream for Colm Tizard and Brendan Powell. Uh, this one a pint to pint in March 2020 and uh, it was sold for 260,000. That's a lot of money for a mayor. Um, it was Fifth and third in two in a novice and a maiden hurl last spring. And Tizard's uh, yard wasn't going that well at the time. So when it came back then in the, uh, there in the, uh, the autumn, it won a mayor's, uh, maiden hurl in Exeter in November. Um, and then it was... Uh, Oh yeah, one a uh, one a uh, uh, in Sandown, one a class three mares hurdle off hundred and eleven. Now it beat a good enough field in that. Valkova was second, and Kisses for Katie was in it. A white hot uh, chili filly, um, and it was two and a half miles, and it clo it's uh, it's only done its best running in the last two furlongs. So tomorrow's distance is uh, two miles five, and eighty two yards, and uh, it's only up six pounds. And it's going back down in a, into a class four. So a lesser class. And uh, it's big enough uh, mayor to carry the weight. So that's a three to one shot. Uh, a pint win. And the other mayor's handicap hurl is in the 14 at Catterick. Latino fling for Donald McCain and Brian uh, Hughes. It won a pint to pint in October 2020 in Loch Ray. And then it went to uh, that Mrs. Barclay trainer. But she doesn't have that many winners. Um, she's more on the flat than on the jumps so um, it had four runs for her and then it came to McCain and had two runs it was second in December uh, to second and third in two hurdle races it has a handicap rate of 91 um, it will likely go out in front because the last two times it tired both both races at two miles uh, four and two miles three and that so back to two miles he would be out in front it's a nine to four shot pint win on that and a pint win double and hopefully the mayors can be lucky for us tomorrow 
Um, I have a horse in the service uh, running uh, later. Uh, so uh, I don't know how we're going to do. Hope for the best with the way the way we're going lately. Uh, could be another hair look story, but it has to change at some point anyway, you know. We're not doing too bad anyway. We're uh, we're being competitive and we're sort of right there. So there's two for tomorrow. Uh, Mickey D for Cold Beer Sports over and out. I'm going looking out at the Thiestes card for Thursday and I have uh, the field narrowed down to three or four as it is. So hopefully we'll be able to get someone that's uh, in the first three at least anyway, if not the winner, like we had last year with Cocoa Beach. Adios.